welcome to this up close and personal session. This is a true pleasure. It's a treat, and I can't thank you enough, Brian. We are with Brian Grasso, who is the founder of the International Youth Conditioning Association, or the IYCA. And Brian, this is an absolute treat, so I thank you first and foremost on behalf of the community. And for the community who doesn't know about you yet, um, this, is, this is truly something special, and we appreciate it. Brian has been a, a, a very instrumental component of what we've done at PTA Global and has really provided a solid foundation for a population that is really untapped and untouched to this point. And so we want to thank Brian for that. And Brian, before we get into the up close and, and personal about the power of play, can you just give us a background on who you are, what you've done, what you're doing, just so we know you? Uh, well, I mean, first of all, thank you. Uh, it's, it's my honor. Uh, PTAG is, uh, is an incredible organization comprised of incredible people. So to be part of this community is, uh, is an honor and a blessing for me, and I thank you for inviting me very much. And, and I certainly hope I have uh, some, some words of wisdom of, of some sort that uh, – incite your community to understand the power of play as it relates to youth today. But um, uh, the long and short of me in, is uh, roughly a 16-year career now in the fitness and sport training world. Uh, I spent literally no time whatsoever, Rodney, in the fitness industry per se, uh, it, at least immediately with adult populations. I uh, was very fortunate. Uh, out of college, I did an internship with a very uh, high-end training center in Toronto, Canada, where I'm from. And our entire clientele was exclusively Olympic, professional, and national team athletes. So uh, the sports industry is really what drove me to become a performance specialist. I, I, I love the idea of having to work with athletes or working with athletes and, and, and using some instrumental training and conditioning um, ideals that can help propel them on to better and faster and stronger and bigger for themselves. So I, I was very blessed with that uh, early on in my career. And uh, I, I had a wonderful early start. I got up to work with uh, three different Olympic gold medalists and a variety of different professional national team athletes from all over the world. Even did some traveling myself. I worked with national team athletes in Sweden and Italy and Czech Republic, all over the United States and Canada, uh, into Australia and New Zealand. Uh, but roughly in 19, I'd say 97 or 98, um, a lot of parents started bringing their young athletes, young meaning nine through about 14 or 15 years old, into my facility. And uh, truth be told, uh, what we would do as a staff would take our Olympic protocol, dummy it down some by changing volume and intensities, and, and make it applicable to kids. Uh, and we, we admittedly, we broke our arms patting ourselves on the back because we were seeing biomotor improvements. These kids were getting faster. They were getting stronger, but it didn't sit right to me, and uh, so I decided to go on a quest. I traveled around the world. I read a great deal of research, uh, read every book I could find on the topic, and if I am any sort of, um, I suppose, quote-unquote expert in the realm of youth athlete development, it's only because for five years I decided to shut up and listen to <laughs> coaches who wanted me, and I, I read their books. I talked to them. I interviewed them. And when I came back to Canada, I realized that I was on the wrong path, that long-term athlete development was a science and an art unto itself. And that is what really fueled the, the fire for me to create an international organization that became the IYCA that, that I wanted to have as the gold standard for our industry uh, to provide education and practical components of long-term athlete development for, uh, for, for people all over the world, three or four million different fitness professionals worldwide as per the last number that I read, and none of us really have a good, strong understanding of youth athlete development or how it's uh, applied in contemporary society. So my initial thrust of working with uh, high-end elite athletes uh, came full circle five years later where I became a specialist in youth. And uh, at this point, I've now worked with about 20 or 25,000 kids all over the world, and it's been the greatest blessing I could possibly have ever asked for in this industry. Uh, training Olympic gold medalists has a sex appeal. It was wonderful. It was a beautiful experience, but there's nothing quite the same as having a 14-year-old kid who's a bench warmer, introverted as, a, you know, a, a, their personality is very shy and they're, they're nervous. And some of the mentoring, not even the training, the mentoring you do with them 
they grow, they develop. Yes, they become a starter perhaps, but broader than that, they see greatness in themselves and go on to exceptional academic careers, wonderful college careers, and, and, and budding professionals. So it's been the greatest time of my life, and uh, I feel very fortunate to have had these experiences, but that's, I suppose, the long and short of me. And as far as the community goes, I hope, I mean, we could stop right now, turn that off, and I think if the community, if we as a community, if we as an industry would relish some of those, those nuggets right there, we would be far advanced from where we are at this point. So I want to, I just want to back up for a second and say, if we could do what Brian had asked as a collective industry and as individuals, and that is to, to exercise the skill of humility and shut up and listen, have an open mind to think, you know what, maybe what we're doing isn't everything that can be done. Maybe there's something or someone has a different way or another approach that can augment or help us and we can then move forward and actually take action upon that. How awesome would that be? So Brian, I think just, just by the, the pure fact that you had the humility to listen, then you took action upon what you were hearing and then you decided to do something about it. And beyond all of that, it's not it's not always the outcome that we look at or that we think that we need to get. I've got to make this kid a starter. They've got to run. They've got to go from a 4.9 to a 4.5. It's what happens as the, the actual outcome of that process, what happens of that from that process, which, as you know, is a huge part of what we do at PTA Global. It's not the goal. It's the outcome that's achieved because of the goal. That's and that's a good. huge component. So... I want to just throw that out there because that's so powerful. And sometimes we hear these things and we read stuff and it just, <laughs> so we don't really grab a hold of that. So I want to take a second for the community and just let them grab a hold of that because that sets the stage and hopefully that primes us to realize that what Brian is talking about, Brian knows from his heart through true experience, the actual true meaning of the word knowledge means to have an intimate experience with something and that's what you've done. If people want more information about some of the stuff that you've talked about, Brian, where can they go to get that? Where can they go get more information about the IYCA, some of the pro programs and processes that, that are, are done through the IYCA, and or even you yourself? The IYCA's website is uh, uh, www.iyca.org. And uh, of course, we have our litany of educational resources, et cetera, there. But I think one of the things we're most proud of is that we have a blog that's open uh, to everyone. There's no fee for it or, or anything else. And um, you know, myself, I write uh, and do video work a great deal for that blog. We have other IYCA certified professionals who contribute to it. Uh, Dave Gleason is coming to mind, a gentleman who owns an athletic revolution franchise uh, near Boston, uh, who's taken all the IYCA concepts and runs them out of this facility, so he loves to get on camera and talk about play and how he creates obstacle courses and relay races uh, using smart parameters of coordination development. So head over to IYCA.org, and at the top of the page, there's a little icon that says IYCA blog. Click on that. There's about four years worth of free resources there, and we add every single day, uh, every day, five days a week, uh, new information. So enjoy that, and uh, we believe it to be our... Our, uh, part of our legacy, to be honest, is to, um, to educate, to, to inspire our industry to understand more and work better with kids. They are the most important, the greatest resources this planet enjoys. So we have to nurture them, protect them, and do right by them. So uh, enjoy that resource. Uh, and, and Rodney, myself, um, it's been a 16-year career. I've, I've enjoyed it very much. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be phasing out somewhat of the fitness industry shortly, um, not at all for any bad reason or bad reason. I think just philosophically, uh, I believe and, and, and strongly support the notion that we, we all have finite numbers of years on this planet, and uh, the best work you can do is to uh, do good work that makes, uh, I, I'm fond of saying I, I've always wanted to leave the world in a better place than it was when I found it, and uh, create a legacy that exists beyond you, far past you. Uh, I truly hope with the IYCA and our franchise, Athletic Revolution, I've done that. Uh, and it's now it's time for those organizations to fly without me, and I think they're going to do tremendously well. Uh, the, 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 the thousands of members we have, the incredible staff uh, of the IYCA and Athletic Revolution will see to it 
that the movement exists long past Brian Grasso, which uh, is the way it was constructed. It's not about one person. It's about our, our globe. It's about our world and making sure we leave it better. So uh, I'll be uh, looking forward to perhaps chatting with you again about what my next ventures might be, either inside or outside this fitness industry. But uh, suffice it to say, anything I do, um, again, inside or outside the fitness industry will have a direct impact on the wonderful fitness professionals, the four million deep of us who are the safeguards. The, uh, we, we are the, the medical doctors of prevention <laughs> as opposed to treatment. Uh, so bless you all for the work you do and anything I do in the future will certainly have uh, my thoughts and how it can make your life better. So I, I look forward to touching base with you again, perhaps. Uh, thank you so much, Brian. We appreciate that. Absolutely.